Hello, welcome back to Balloon Dude 19 Balloon Twisting Channel with me, Stretch the Balloon Dude. Uh, we're going to do another bunny since Easter is just around the corner. Well, that is if you're watching this close to Easter. If it's another part of the year, then bunnies are cute and popular anyway. So, this is a little simpler than my last bunny that uploaded. But as you can see, it's still really cute. A lot of impact and wow factor in this guy too because he's just so adorable. So grab some balloons, grab a pump. Let's get ready to have some fun. Now we're going to start with one of our lilac 260s and a white 260. And as you can see, I've tied the ends together. The white, I've left, oh, probably a hand and a thumb uninflated and just about a hand uninflated on the lilac. We're going to start with the white. What we're going to do is going to make a small, a little less than a three finger, maybe a two and a half or so finger fold twist there. We're going to make another one the same size. These will be our bunny sheets. If you want bigger cheeks, you can make them bigger. Then I'm going to make one more fold twist, and I'll make it even smaller than the other two. That will be our bunny's mouth. I just like his mouth to be slightly smaller than his cheek, so you've got that there to start with. Now we're going to take and go to our lilac. I'm going to do about a four-finger bubble, followed by a pinch twist. Then another four-finger bubble, same size as that one there. And then we're going to come back to all of the fold twists that we started with at the other end. Like that. Now we're going to switch back to our white. What you want to do is lay it alongside the, this bottom here. And you want to come just short of the end of this here. Almost to where, that, where the pinch twist is. Not quite at the end. Now we're going to make another bubble the same size as that one there. And we're going to twist that and do all the fold twists and everything again. <clears throat> These are going to be our bunny's eyes in a minute. Now we've got this excess white. I'm going to do is pop that off, tie it, and save it because we'll use that in a minute for our bunny's um, tail and the white on his tummy. So set that aside. We'll need that. Let's wrap this tail of the white around a couple times to make sure it's secured and doesn't come undone. Now what we're going to do is lay that white along the lot and kind of hold it down for a minute so you can get a measurement. Because what we're going to do is we're going to take it and lay this across to get his eyes. And we'll go just past those white, measure that, make a pinch twist. Like that there. Now we're going to do, lay it back along. Now we want, what you want to do is you want a bubble that's going to pull this down snug. So this bubble should be just enough you want it to pull it down a little bit. Keep it kind of snug there and twist it into, and see how that's pulling it down? That pinch twist at the bottom. Then you're going to go right back up again. So you get two bubbles on the back of his head there. So now you can see his head beginning to tip shake. Eyes, the top of his head. Now what's left over, squeeze it almost to the end. So you get just a little bit left. Bring that back down to that pinch twist. Twist it around several times to secure it. And then we have to make his ears. So we're going to take this that we have left over. Divide it into two equal bubbles. Twist it. And then bring that down. Twist that around. And now our bunny has ears. And this is most of the head of our bunny. I'm going to shape his ears just a little bit there. Come back here, you. Now we're going to take our fuchsia five inch round that you can see I've blown that up. Not very large for me. It, I like where it just kind of fits in my, my thumb and finger there. <clears throat> we're going to twist that in to all those fold twists on the front where everything seems to connect. We give our bunny a cute little nose and I'm going to wrap it around once or twice to pull it in and get it snug so it's not hanging out. There we have our bunny has a nose. You can see we've got his cheeks. There's his mouth, his eyes. So we have the head of our bunny. And now we're going to take our second Lilac 360, and I've blown that up with about a hand with uninflated on it. We're going to twist that in to the pinch twist at the bottom of his head there. Grab that in and twist it a couple times really good. You don't want it coming and done on you. Now I want to do is about a, about a hand and a thumb for his body. Then we're going to make a pinch twist. 
And then another bubble the same size as that, so another hand and a thumb. And come back up and twist back up to the twist at the base of his neck. Now we need to make his legs, but before we do that, let's go ahead and add the white back in his, uh, for his belly and his tail. So I'm going to take and twist this in up at the top here where his neck would be. Then I'm going to lay it along his belly, squeeze it kind of soft, and go down and twist it in at the pinch twist on the bottom. And then with the left over, bring the tail end around the nipple, twist it back into the pinch twist to make a big fold twist with whatever you have left over. That's our bunny rabbit's cute little tail. <clears throat> now for his legs, I'll take and look like he's sitting up and just go straight out across here where I want him to sit. Make that bubble, and then I'll make a shorter bubble for his bottom leg. So we've got a front uh, and a back leg. And then you just need another pair, uh, pair of bubbles just like those, so you need this size and that. So measure under them. Lay it alongside, measure that. Twist that back in up at the top. And then if you want to have a little more body, you can take and lay this along the back. Twist it back into the, go along his backside down to his tail. Pop that excess off. Move his legs out so his head looks down a little bit. And there you have a really cute bunny. And there you have another really cute bunny. Again, if Easter's coming up, as it is right now. This guy's gonna be really popular, lots of fun. This is smaller, like I said, and faster than the last bunny that I showed, but still very cute. So, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure you like, comment, share, subscribe if you haven't already. Check the links below for cool links for, uh, for cool shirts for balloon twisting to promote yourself. Or if you just like wearing balloon shirts, lots of fun. Thanks, be sure and come back again for another edition when I come back, and don't forget to stay twisted.